Are you excited? You can finally find out what his name is. What's your name? I'm not telling you. Hey, please! It's almost a day, so please. Nope, I tomorrow. Can you hear it? No. Yep. Not to hear it. Nope. Or else, or else, let's head down the toilet. <laughs> Ooh, that wouldn't be very good. If you want, if you want me to keep. Wow, you're giving me ultimatums. What? Yeah, what? Aren't you just so excited? Mm -hmm. It's tomorrow, so you might. Aren't you excited to flush your head down the toilet? Okay, so it's been a little bit of some time. Uh, this morning I had server gel put in at 8 a.m. and it is now, let me look, 2.40. I just got checked at 2.30 and I am almost three centimeters, so they're gonna bring me to labor and delivery and they're gonna break my water and start me on some Pitocin. So, that is the plan. I was able to get ready a little bit before I started getting any pain or contractions. I also have really dry lips. The hospital is like the super dry, driest place ever. Does the, all the pain medicine make your dry lips too? Maybe. Ah, but I'm having more contractions after she checked me. So I told her I've been in pain for weeks with, um, Kidney, kidney pain and and then constipation I'm getting an epidural the second we get over there I said and she said that works for me so she's gonna do an epidural first and then break my water and then start the Pitocin so we're in the final stretches I think you already did one natural so oh there's no chest. point to uh, you know you've already done that you can do an epidural this time yeah, I did an epidural with my first and it, it didn't, didn't really wasn't for very successful <laughs> in my humble opinion. But hoping, fingers crossed, this one works. I am excited though because they said it was going to be uh, potentially 8 p.m. by the time that the baby was, or that they were going to check again and see if the cervix had progressed. And so we're five hours, in my terms, or five, five hours ahead of schedule. So I'm happy with that. Hopefully we can do it before midnight because, um, yeah, we don't want to get a super early in the morning birth. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, What's your guess? Now I'd say by nine. You're going to say by nine? I say maybe by... <coughs> I'm going to go before you. I'm going to say eight. 7.30 or eight. Okay. Guess what when she breaks your water? 6.42. <laughs> in three hours we'll have a baby <laughs> I, I believe in you okay so this is our hospital room there it is you have your epidural now are you feeling better does it is it all the pain gone or no it's not all gone okay. Okay. Do top up, but okay feeling better good I was in lots of pain yeah. Well, you got kidney pain and you got baby pain. You got like two of the most painful pains. That's a lot of pain. No, they're not gonna break the water until I'm perfect.
not like that. All right, your water just broke. On its own, yay. You're hoping for that. Yay. You got to feel it. What did it feel like? Um, like a pop, like a balloon. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And then she said, I think I felt a pop. Do you want to just check? And so I checked. I said, I think your water broke. So you had a pillow between your legs and it was wet. So we are yes. hanging on. The doctor did not need a pop, which is awesome. And now we're just waiting. So we just got a check from the doctor. She said she is still two to three centimeters dilated. More three. More three. But I am on point with my guesses tonight. Uh, well, actually, we haven't seen one of them come true. It is currently 510. And then for dilation, I said four. And you said seven to eight. You said six to seven. I was, I was closest on dilation, but definitely maybe not closest on when the baby actually comes. But we will see. We will see. Time will tell. A few moments later. So we just went and got some food and we're sitting at the table. Jill is sleeping and we leave and they put on oxytocin. And then we get a call saying we're going to have a baby. So we no ran way. back up. Yeah. <laughs> Here's mom. No way. So we're bringing all our tacos and poutine and chicken fingers and everything back up. Who are you talking and, to? I'm talking to myself. Oh. Talking to the people of YouTube, Mom. It's okay. This is Everyone's like, like stuck stuck in rooms right now, too. I just like, you don't want to go over a lady by yourself. It's happened, but yes. So you feel like you want to put it when you're just holding off? It happens. Yeah, no, I'm, especially if it's a concept. It's just usually pretty straightforward. Breathe like a crocodile. Oh, <laughs> 
just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you. Do you guys want to take a break from you? Take me away. I'm not here for my soul. Okay, I'm here for my soul. I'm just wondering if you want to see him first and then do it. Okay, we're gonna clap the cord. Is that okay? Okay, I'll give you just a quick little. Thank you. I already see the beach. Dad, are you cutting the cord? Okay. There you go. There's so the cut right there. I'm gonna protect all the important parts. Okay. I'm good there. Yeah. Okay. I know it's a little chewy. Whoa. I'm sure you've done this before. There we go. Awesome. Okay, I'll bring them up. Yeah. Any siblings at home? Pardon me? Any siblings at home? Three. Three siblings. Yeah. Yeah. This is third or this is the fourth. Oh, this is the fourth. Yeah. Yeah, he's got an older sister and two older brothers. Oh, so this Yeah. Oh, little man. There you go. Don't be surprised if later on you would need a, a little bit of respiratory support. Okay. So most yeah. of the time we need a bit of what we need to see so mm. is actually a problem just to keep their lungs open. Okay. I don't know what I do without you. <laughs> Jerusalem. Roads Jerusalem. Roads Jerusalem. <laughs> I told you it was a J from the Bible. I thought it was going to be like Jacob or something. Nope. Tyler's going to love that name. I know. Joe's brother Tyler, every time we name our children, he's like, why don't you pick a normal name? Like, like Chris or Dave or Mark. Thank you, God. God, we just pray your blessing over Little Rhodes and his recovery and his journey as he goes through this. I don't know if you remember me. Yeah, the one who came into your room. A little bit cranky. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the red, I mean, he's actually working a little bit, so we might need to bring him over to the Yeah. Okay, sure. do you want me to go right now? Okay, okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay, so we are done. I say we. Jill is done. I... And I'm not really done. I'll be probably still have to pump and. Well, you got a lot of responsibilities, but the birthing is done. You did really good. Thank you. So it was like four pushes, and and baby was out. One more time, I got this. Way too easy. Yeah, yeah. One more time. Rhodes is in the NICU right now, and we went to see him. He's doing well. They said he's feisty, which is good. Um, he's taken he's out big. his. Yeah, he's big. He's five pounds twelve ounces. Maybe and thirteen. Maybe thirteen. If you round up. Yeah. There were, yeah, there was just a lot of answered prayers, like for Jill's placenta to come out nicely, because um, she hemorrhaged really bad last time, and uh, baby's weight and everything. It was just, it was good. It was really good. So happy. Yeah. You it's must be exhausted. Weird that I haven't seen him in like two hours. Yeah, I know. They're going to take you to go see him though, right? Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully. Yeah. I'm gonna go see him and I've already been pumping and I go 
pumped eight mils of colostrum. Of colostrum and the nurses were like, yeah! Like apparently that's a big thing to get that much colostrum right out of the bat. So yeah, they were happy with that. Good job, good job pumping. Yay. <laughs> I have lots left to give. Yeah. Never had issues with milk supply. So. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. so good. We're just so happy you can give him what he needs um, right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so we're super tired. Joe's exhausted. exhausted. You're going to be staying at the hospital. I'm going to be staying uh, at my parents nearby, and for the next few days, we'll be living here, living here and recouping and doing all that comes with having a baby in the hospital. And hopefully Nikki. all my pain goes away. And hopefully all your pain goes away. Yeah. So that's it for today. On to the next.